We've been reviewing the book from Paul Hacek from Clutton Cox. Don't even think about buying or selling your home until you've read this book. It's a five-star rated Amazon book. And we've been going through the chapters, just really explaining some more information about these chapters. In this chapter of his book, Paul Hadjik from Clutton Cox talks about conveyancing problems. Now, they don't come just in the title. There aren't just problems with conveyancing in the title because it can be in many different guises. Now, it can involve lack of documentation or potential for liability. For example, the chance of repair liability we talked about before, where you have to pay towards the repair of the chance of a church. But it might be that when you're selling your property in convincing terms, you might have been a little bit naughty. Now, this might be completely unwittingly, but you may have failed to comply with the current planning laws or building regulations, and this can be called what is known as a defect. Now, there has been a lot of legislation over the last decade or so that makes it a requirement that certificates are obtained from qualified contractors as well. This could be for property work, such as electrical works, central heating or even installation of new windows. A common defect is where you may have done something to property in contravention of a covenant, which also affects the property. The difficulty is knowing whether the breach of covenant may still be enforceable in the courts. Now, covenants, for example, fall into two categories, restrictive and positive. The most common restrictive covenant, for example, can restrict the ability to add or amend the property without the third party's consent, or even in extreme cases, an absolute ban on doing anything to the property. The good news is that recent decisions by the courts have tended to make a more pragmatic approach to interpretation of long-standing covenants. There have been examples of covenants being successfully challenged where the original person or persons who imposed the covenants had long since died. Now, positive covenants where the seller of a property has failed to carry out an obligation, for example, to maintain a fence or a boundary, these are a complex area of the law and you should always get advice from your convincing solicitor. Now, lack of documentary evidence is also another defect in title. There are certain rights such as rights to use a footpath, a lane or even a road neighbouring property that may not exist in any documentation yet the right may have been exercised by existing and previous owners of the property for many years. And what happens when a conveyancing defect is discovered? Well, a conveyancing solicitor's first port of call where a defect is discovered is to ask for the defect to be rectified. Where a document is missing, say a death certificate, the process is simple. You ask for a copy or approach the relevant probate registry if one can't be located. Where there's evidence of a long-standing usage of a footpath, for example, the seller may be asked to swear a document known as a statutory declaration. The statutory declaration will detail actual personal knowledge of circumstances which have existed over time, and they can be added to by successive owners until an actual right can be created. Some situations, however, may require fresh deeds to be drawn up, called deeds of rectification. The difficulty in modern day conveyancing is that the time taken to track down relevant parties or to seek permission for works carried out many years ago can be very time consuming and costly. This is where conveyancing solicitors turn to insurance companies. The insurance company will issue a defective title indemnity policy to cover the defect. Now it's important to realise that defective title indemnity policies are not a perfect solution as you will see in the following videos. Now, as always, if you have any problems or queries about defects in title, contact your conveyancing solicitor. He'll be more than pleased to help you. And check out following videos from this series from Clutton Cox.